Okay, let's try that again. Hi everyone, hopefully um, it pops back up for you to um, see so that uh, you can join me again. Hopefully um, it's easy to find. Um, sorry about that, we've got one person here. Yay. You can join me again, hopefully. Uh, that will that will create some feedback, so we don't want to be doing that. Um, okay, so I'll just give it a couple of minutes. Yay! Can you hear me better, Heather? Oh, good, much better. Okay, I'm just I don't know why I bother trying to be a little bit more technical. I'll just use my phone and it's um and hope that the picture that you can see is um better. I do have a new stand, which hopefully um will be a little bit easier for you to see um thank you ladies hopefully it will be a little bit easier for you to see what i'm doing as well um then with my other stand i might need an extra light though so we'll see how we go let me know if it's um if it's not any any better all right so um the card that we're going to do is this one here and it is like a, a little cute um it's just got a center opening that you can then decorate and um, it's using the new or the free celebration papers, the penguin papers. So um, I've only just got that pack of papers and it's quite sweet. Um, but And this is the reverse of one of the sheets. So uh, one side has got lots of um, mostly kind of the mint green colour and the purple fresh freesia backgrounds with the animals, excuse me, with the animals on them. Um, and then the back are um, more muted kind of like this one's Christmas trees is another one that's that I'm going to use tonight which is um, stripes and then the other one is uh, it's got these cute little dots on it so there's some there's some sweet patterns in there and nice and um, they're nice pastely kind of colors I oh you you'll love it as soon as you get it Sandra it's beautiful um I wish I'd bought I wish I got it earlier I was getting all that sparkly glimmer paper but this is just so pretty and it make really sweet um Christmas cards for uh, all the nieces and um and things so um I yeah I, I may be putting in another order before the 30th of September to get some more of this paper all right so let's get started. Um, I'm just going to tilt you down a bit on my on this new stand. Please, I've got the comments coming up on my computer so that I can see them. If it's not working, let me know, and I will very quickly adjust again. And I won't I won't stop the live this time, but I will adjust the I will adjust the um the holder that it's on, and put it back on the other one, and just stick with that. Tried and true. Okay, so, um, right, let's get started. So I'm just going to flip you down, and hopefully you'll be able to see, and I might just need to move, let my computer catch up, and I'll just move you in a little bit so that you can see. No, that's too far. Back a bit there. Oh. Sorry if I'm making you a little bit seasick. Just trying to get it in the right position for you to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is our card. Um, hopefully, uh, I won't have to do it upside down. That would be really confusing for me and I'll probably stuff it up. But I will, so that would be the right way for you to be seeing it. So we've got a normal standard card base, which is just a piece of, um, I've got a piece of fresh freezer. And we're going to start off by, yeah, mm -mm. let me just try something and see if this is a little bit better for you and get a better view. Oh, rotate your device. Oh, okay. No, won't let me do that. So we'll put it back, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're just going to start by... Uh, now is it right in the right position? Okay. So we're going to start by just folding our paper in half. Oops. Nice smudge on there. Never mind. I will 
flip it over and you won't see it. The magic of double-sided card. Okay, so we're going to pop it in. So we've got our tent fold card. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop it in to our trimmer. Make sure you can still see what I'm doing. And I'm going to pop it up to the one. There's, there's a slight delay in my in what I'm seeing and what I'm doing. So sorry about that. So I'm going to pop it in and I'm going to line it up with the one inch mark. Oh, too far that way. Come back, come back. Come on, no, come back. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to put it in at the one inch mark and I'm going to have the fold in the center and you're going to use your scoring tool. Now, just find where the fold is in your uh, should be about four and an eighth, but just kind of line this part of your the cent the center of your scoring tool up with the fold mark, and press down and come back towards um, the left hand side of your trimmer. So you're going back towards the bottom of the card. All right, I'll put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. So you end up with a one inch piece that looks like this. Okay. Then I find the easiest thing to do is just to flip it over so that you've still got the um, cut side against the left hand side of your trimmer. Slide that back up to the one inch mark and do the same thing. So you're going to get it, this side will be, the inside is usually a little bit harder to see. But mine is at four, four and an eighth. So I'm going to pop that down and then just slide it back to the left-hand side of your trimmer. All right. And then that is all we need to do for our trimming. So we've got, um, the, you'll have those pieces there. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And so we're going to start with decorating our card. So the center part, which is this bit here, um, I've decided that I wanted to mat that up on some white just to help the paper stand out a bit. So just um, just with your measurements, sometimes when you cut your piece of card into A5, it doesn't always, it's not always exact. So just test your piece um, with the measurements that you've got to make sure that it, um, it fits into the square and that's got a nice little... Um, edge to it so I'm quite happy with that and then then decide what DSP you're going to have so you'll also have a little bit of a matting around the outside of that um, I was planning on using this side so is that working for you ladies that way can you talk a bit more so we can see the car yeah yeah I know I'm sorry about the chest shot Andrea <laughs> I would maybe if I move this up a bit my, the thing won't tilt down any further, unfortunately. Um, but I will see if I can make it a bit better. Maybe if I go on a different angle for you. That's kind of made it a bit... I I'm, I'm conscious of making you guys feel a little bit queasy, actually, um, with it. How's that? How's that? Let me know if that's good. I'm not sure how the volume's going to be with that because my phone's a little bit further away. Now I've just caught up. It's a little bit too close. All right. Let's see how we go. So in the centerpiece, we're going to glue down these. I... I want to put some ribbon on and I think I might leave it with the spots and then I've got some bits that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to use um, one of the colours in this pack is called Just Jade. So I've got a piece of Just Jade ribbon that um, comes in the Flowers for Every Season um, designer series, the ribbon pack. So I'm just going to use a piece of this and tie it around those. So I want to glue down. I think this is actually worse for you. I don't know. Yeah. Now I'm missing the word. Okay, how's let me just let it catch up. How's 
How's that? Let me see the card properly now. All right, we'll, we'll see how we go. The sound is good. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to – I'm really sorry, ladies. I will go back to the old one next time. Uh, it seems like um, such a tragedy to put glue on that gorgeous snowman uh, scene, but I want to um, have – just a soft, gentle background. So I'm just going to do the dots. I'm going to then just tie this ribbon, spots and checks. I don't know if that's a good move, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, did you paste DSP onto the mat and then do – yes, I did, Debs. Yeah, just because it then holds it in place. But I want – if you want the ribbon only around the DSP, then put your, D, your ribbon on first and then glue it down. But I want – I've glued the mat and the DSP together. So then I'm just putting the ribbon on. Oh, sorry, Alison. I will um I can go back over it for you if you want to, me to, if you're crafting along with me. Um we're not too far ahead. It's not a problem. Let me know if you want me to show you what I've done so far. Okay, so that's my ribbon. It's got a bit twisted. I always find if it twists a little bit like that, if you pull your card in a little bit and just um, so it's a bit looped, then on the back, no one's going to notice if it's a bit twisted. And you can, when you put dimensionals on it, you won't see it as, as much. Um, okay. All right, so. Just in case, Alison, um, we put this into the trimmer and on this side of, in this way, up to an inch and then cut an inch along, an inch wide up until the fold mark and then flipped it over and then we did the same thing on the other side. So these two pieces here are cut up to the fold mark and they're both an inch wide, okay? And then, then we've just put... Um, the DSP onto the white matting card which goes into the middle piece here okay then I've just decorated with some ribbon so the next piece I'm just going to work on it flat just so it gives me a bit of uh, it doesn't keep annoying me I've decided that I want to put spots hmm didn't think this through spots checks and dots oh well that's okay So I'm just gluing on the um, the DSP there. Now this is the seven eighths of an inch, so it's just under an inch wide, just to give you um, that really thin matting edge around. So if I move that, you would see just along the top there, um, and the bottom is a really fine. Um, amount of cardstock I did when I was starting to make it I did um, actually plan to have a white matting underneath it as well but then I thought by the time you um, cut the matting and then cut the DSP oh my gosh you wouldn't even see any of the DSP to be a waste of time so DSP is a lot more um, a lot lovelier we will just use a piece of that so then we're going to flip it over so this is the inside of our card um if you wanted to stamp a greeting on here do that now and i've left the stamp set on the shelf just a sec um so this would be where you would do your stamping before you glue it down uh, let's do i'm going to use this um holly jolly wishes can you see that Maybe not. Yeah, so Holly Jolly Wishes is the set that I've got. Um, and 
I might just um, use this We Wish You a Merry Christmas one because that's nice. Um, I've got the, I, I've got out Soft Succulent, which is quite a nice colour that I quite like. Um, but now that I've used the Just Jade, because Soft Succulent is one of the colour ways in that designer series paper, um, but now that I've used the Just Jade, there might be too many different greens. So I'm going to um, just use the Fresh Freesia. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle of the card. Okay. And then close up the ink pad so that we don't put any things in it. All right, so that's what... Um, I've got for the middle and we're just going to pop that into the middle there. Now what's important is to make sure that your sentiment doesn't go too far over the edge because these pieces at the top will cover it. So we're just going to pop that, make sure it's right in the centre. This one, the first one that I did, I actually didn't put anything in there because it just gives you a little bit more space to write in. Um, but you could, you could also add a piece to the back if you wanted to. So we're just going to glue that in. And pop that into the centre of our card. Make sure it's all nice and stuck down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip our card around or onto the side and these one inch pieces, we're just going to put some glue on them. Now remember, try not to glue too close to the edge, but you do want it to stick down. Um, obviously if you're using um, tape or uh, stamp and seal, then you don't need to worry too much about that. You just need to make sure that you don't put it uh, too close to the edge so that it comes off. And you're just going to press that down over the top there. And then you're going to bring the other one in and bring that over get that nicely lined up with the edge of your card and make sure that it meets at the fold nicely whoops and see i just did what i said to be careful about press down too hard with the glue and now it's poked out all right so then you've got your card looking like that um and then so then that just leaves the top I just really want to make sure that that sits nicely so then we've got our front piece because it's got ribbon on the back and it's a bit bulky I prefer to use some dimensionals so I'm just going to pop dimensionals one in each corner I'm a bit of a creature of habit and put one in each corner and one in the middle all the time um, but what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to stick one underneath the ribbon now that I've got that where I can where I want it and I'll get it straight then that'll just hold the ribbon in place as well um, and won't get won't move around too much so then um, take the backing off Must be the night for being fumbly. Alright, and then we're going to put this in. Put that on there like that. Like so. And then what I was going to do is um, when I was sorting this card, uh, I made a few um, faux pas with my... Um, DSP, I cut them the wrong way. They were supposed to go like that. And that meant that my creatures were up the wrong way. So I'm just going to cut really quickly. Cut these out. And I'm sorry, I did mean to do them actually before I started. But um, I was fiddling around with the damn webcam. And then 
I went on to do Facebook Live on my computer and it made me create an account and then then the damn webcam wasn't working. So I spent a lot of time working that out and then worked out that that was not really the right way to do it. So um, so hope you ladies had a nice day. Uh, those of you in Auckland, first day of level three, whoop, whoop. probably not a lot of difference for everybody. Hopefully those that are in level two are um, adjusting to being back to normal. If you have been, if you haven't been working, I don't think I remember Andrew you saying that you're an you were an essential worker, so you wouldn't have noticed too much difference. Just more people out on the streets, I'd imagine. Crazy in Auckland, people wanting to get takeaways. Crazy, crazy. We saw a video on um, Facebook of someone who was camping out at KFC. I mean, it's been five weeks, but it's not the end of the world. So uh, I don't quite understand the need to um, to be desperately going to get takeaways. I would like, we had a yummy Caesar salad tonight. Can't wait for it to be like summer and get like salad veggies easily and cheaply. Tomatoes are horrendous at the moment. Okay, so we've got a fox and a penguin. And I don't know if he'll stand out. Maybe if I if I put him on over the ribbon, he might stand out a bit more. Um, heard a tip, and I don't know, I feel like it's something that I did anyway, and I don't know if I've mentioned it, but when you're cutting out, um, it's a good idea to move your paper rather than your scissors. I don't know if you've even noticed that, that that's something that you do, because it's a little bit faster, you can move it around rather than having to move the scissors, and as I was doing this, I was like, oh, I do do that, um, but I've heard that from two people in the last couple of days. Um, yes, Glenis, um, Caesar salad is yum. The croutons are a little bit overcooked, but that's okay. Um, we managed. All right, so maybe I'll put him there and his friends up there maybe that might help him stand out a little bit more um all right so i'm going to pop some or does he need some color maybe he needs a bit of color behind him let's see if i've got some fresh freezer that he might fit on I let's see how that looks if it doesn't look right, then, you know, don't have to use it. Ugh. Right. Like a messy five-year-old. Blueberry. And hopefully... I know that there are some people that are not fans of fussy cutting, so maybe he could go up there now and my two little ones could sit down there and be friends at the bottom. So I'm going to pop these up on some dimensionals. It's dimensionals are our friend in paper crafting. I love dimensionals. It's amazing just how a, what a difference it makes, popping something up and giving it a little bit of 3D. Um, 
a little bit of dimension just makes it stand out so much more right so I'm going to put one on there one on there and then I'm just going to cut one of these edges so that uh, I've got a half one to put I don't know if you can see what I'm doing actually just putting a half of one on there to, um, to give it a bit of stability I don't know if you use the edge of these, but they're great. So when you get these pieces along here, they're like a half or a mini dimensional. They're great. Mm, might put one there. Cut one more. Okay. Oh, that was not on very well. Don't stand yourself with the sharp point girls. Okay, so I think I like my little fox sitting there and his little buddy penguin you can kind of sit there like that. And there is the finished card. Now, always room for sparkle and glitter. So I've just got my Oh, might almost run out, Wink of Stella. And just put, especially over our little polar bear, make him shiny. Yeah, it's definitely running out. Okay. So I'm just going to put it over the white areas so that he looks like he's shimmering from the snow. And you know, who doesn't need a little bit of bling in their life? And then maybe let's do the same with the penguin and the fox's face. All right. Um, we could do a little bit down here. A little bit down here. Okay, get rid of my mess so that you can see. Okay, whoops. So that is the end of our card. And we've gone over time. Sorry. Oh yeah, it is sideways. Sorry, Judy. Um yeah. <laughs> I think if I keep doing this, I'm gonna have to spend um Ah, oh, who is it? Heidi, you're at alert. Oh, wow. How, did, how come you were in a location of interest? Crikey. That's no good. Yeah, those of you down further down the country are lucky, lucky people. All right, I don't know if you can see the Winker Stella on that. If I depends on the angle, I guess. Just there. So that is our card. And then when he, when you send it to somebody and they, they can hold it and they can stand it up and look at it just like that. And you have got, obviously, if you want to, you can put a sentiment in there. Um, yeah, but I thought that was quite a sweet little card. Nice and easy. Not too much um, fluffing about with measurements and extra pieces and stuff. So it's just that one inch each side and then the layers and things to go on the front flap of your card. So, um, yeah, that's really awesome. What um, I'm going to do is, sorry, I've got my arm across the uh, camera again. So, um, we need to do a draw for the vellum card. And I had everyone's name safely on a piece of paper, which has now been moved with everything else that I've moved. So, where did that go? Oh, there it is right in front of me. So, we had Andrea, Rochelle, Alison, Heather, and Sandra. Mm -hmm. 
as the entry. So Heather, Andrea, Sandra, Rochelle, Allison. Cool. So I will, uh, sorry, you're standing, sitting there staring at the card and not at, um, you're just quietly listening away there. Thanks, Debs. I'm glad you really love it. I think it'll be like a really cool quick and thanks, Lisa. That's nice to have you here. Um, I think it'll be a really nice, quick, easy Christmas card, don't you think? Or like if you need a birthday card in a hurry, uh, be pretty awesome. So I'm going to try and not make you sick and flip you around. I'll flip you up so that you can see me. Excuse the um, unflattering view of my chest. Um, and um, yeah, so I've got the winning wheel of names set up and um, of the four, five, five people that put up the Vellum card. So thank you very much for those people who uh, participated in that little challenge and um, popped them up there. It's so lovely to see everybody's um, creations. Oh, you found me when I was scrolling. <laughs> wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure that um, that uh, I hope that you like what you've seen anyway. So, um yeah um and hopefully it was a little bit of a nice way of spending a, a little bit of your sunday uh, your wednesday afternoon it feels like sunday doesn't it wednesday afternoon lisa um or evening um all right i've got the six names so we've got heather andrea sandra and allison and rochelle five names i'm just gonna see how this works again i'm gonna go back to what i used to do and there we go Maybe this is not so bad. We'll see. Um, all right. So let's click on the wheel and see who our winner is tonight. Mm. Yeah. Andrea. So close, Sandra. Andrea. That is hilarious because I just packaged yours up and then I thought, ah, oh, no, I need to wait. I need to wait and see. What happens tonight? And I actually sealed it. So I'm going to unseal it and then sellotape it back up. Um, so if you want to have a look at those photos that I sent you um, a bit earlier and uh, let me know what your third choice for a prize is, that would be awesome. And I will stick it into um, into the bag. So, um, yeah, so that's so cool. Um, I'm so I'm so pleased because you put a, a entry in every week. So um, I appreciate the the cons I appreciate that you um, continue to play along and add your cards. And I'm just gonna uh, write your name. So if you just send me a message with um, the third choice of um, your option, I will pop that in. I pop it into the bag that I've got, and I'll book the courier to collect it tomorrow. Hopefully, they um, they will come and get it tomorrow, and you'll get it as soon as possible. All right. Um, well, thank you very much, everybody. Um, if you want to have a go, or if you have had a go at um, making that, which sounds like a few of you have. Um, then um, I will put a post pin a post of um, that is a this is a really unflattering top. I am so sorry. I was like, oh, it's warm this morning. I'll wear this, but it's it might find its way into the clothing bag. Um, all right. <sighs> so if you would if you would like to um, put a picture of your card that you've made, I will post my two cards on my page. I will. Um, finish my other one I think and just put a little bit on the front there maybe uh, pop up some of the characters that are already there um, and post oh your husband was even watching <laughs> oh that's funny Andrea um, he's probably like mine and just like encourages all of that sort of stuff which is nice um, um, yeah by uh, Wednesday 6 o'clock and I will do the next lot no we are Wednesday. Oh my gosh, where is the week going? Um, by Sunday, six o'clock, I will um, post, uh, we'll do another live at 7.30 and we'll do a draw for anyone who's posted their card um, underneath the, the two of these. So I'll put a picture of both of these on my page and you can um, post your pictures underneath. That'll make just, Facebook's so bizarre 
with when you put posts up, um, they don't make it easy for um, you to find things and you have to switch between things, especially the um, the Facebook business pages. They just don't make it very easy at all, which is silly. Um, thank you, Catherine. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, so I will leave you, ladies, after a disastrous start, I will leave you to your evening. Um, hope that you um, enjoy the rest of your week and it's not too busy or hectic for you. Uh, those of you... <laughs> Those of you who are watching who are teachers, one and a half weeks to go and it's holidays. Especially Auckland teachers who are still doing lockdown learning. We are going to get there. All right. So thank you for your support, ladies. Totally appreciate it. Um, let me know if there is anything that I can help you with. Um, I've had someone um, put in an order. So if there's anyone else that wants to order anything, um, especially before the end of celebration, yeah, fingers crossed is right, Lisa. I'm hoping for at least one week of the holidays that we get. Um, yeah, so if anyone wants anything, especially if they want any of the free celebration items, that finishes on the 30th of September. So let me know and I will, um, I can, I'm happy to put the order in. It doesn't have to be straight away. If you want to wait, um, until next week then that's totally fine but um remember we do need to get it in before the 30th so the earlier in the week the better um i was yeah so if anyone wants anything please let me know even if you don't want celebration stuff but you'd like something to, to carry on with your crafting orders are taking a little bit longer uh, to get here with um the issues in sydney with covid and obviously our career delays here um i've got I think one more order which is not even showing up on courier post um, tracking because it obviously hasn't arrived in the country yet and it's been sent a week ago so fingers crossed but definitely if you want celebration stuff we need to get that order in because as long as it's in and it's processed you'll get it um, and you won't miss out on the um, on the closing date and it may just be slightly delayed with the shipping, but you'll still be able to get it. All right. Okay. Well, have a lovely evening. Thank you for watching. Stay well. Um, stay crafting. Enjoy. Um, and I look forward to seeing your amazing creations um, on underneath in the comments underneath this these pictures. that will be awesome. I'll post them uh, in the next few minutes. All right. Thank you very much. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Sandra.